What is up everybody? This is your guy Light here and today I'm going to be showcasing you a pretty cool Web3 wallet which is relatively new in the space and has been gaining a lot of attraction as of late so I decided to do a video about it and showcase what is all the fuzz about and it's called Rabi Wallet. Currently there is an extension that you can download for Chrome based browsers. There's also a desktop version, which we are going to be focusing on. And as always, this is the Windows version we're going to be focusing. And in case you're a Mac user, you can also download it for that. Apparently, currently there is no Linux support nor mobile, but mobile is in the making. So let's kind of uh, address what exactly Rabi is doing that is different from MetaMask, which is basically de facto wallet that most of you use to basically interact with Uniswap, OpenSea and all of these other websites. So first of all, if you have a smooth multi-chain experience, automatically switching to the corresponding chain based on your visited website, which is uh, very convenient, but obviously there's some websites that actually support multiple chains. So we have to see how that turns out with certain specific sites. Also pre-signing check for errors and risks. And this is actually very convenient because we need all the information possible before we actually like sign up anything or sign up a transaction because there are security risks and everybody are right now especially kind of wary about all types of wallets, hardware and non-hardware and for a good reason, I am too. So this is a security rule engine basically which is, you know, looking into potential scams and stuff like that and kind of talking about like um it's not allowing you to swap in case you're like it's like for example there might be like a transaction where you are claiming out airdrop or an nft and here it's already says that the address is not enabled kind of alluding that this account is not in the whitelist already so do not sign this transaction because you're not even in the whitelist so that's my presumption with this image here and you will be also seeing exactly what you sign into, what is the multi-call, blah, 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 all of these, you know, things. And security over experience, there has been two different audits done for the slow mist, done by slow mist, um, uh, which is pretty known. We have talked about it a couple of times before in the channel, but they are pretty known like vetting firm. And they also have MIT license. Now, these are sometimes a bit of like buzzwords. I don't really read much to them, like what exactly does that mean uh, and how hard is to get to an MIT license. But obviously MIT is a very remarkable uh, university. And also there's 55 different chains supported. These are all EVM chains. And I think, yeah, there's only EVM chains, nothing else as of right now. And there's also a multitude of hardware wallets and institutional wallets and mobile wallets that you can connect. But I'm gonna be showing that in a second. So let's kinda now jump into the actual wallet. So I'm going to be launching it up here and you can import multiple different uh, wallets inside it. So one of the things I already like about here on the bat is it loads pretty fast. And here I have similar, you know, interface that I kind of have with like Zerion and all of these other style uh, portfolio wallets because they show you how much money I have in each specific chain right now. That's kind of important caveat here in my opinion. So. That's showing us that actual data about, okay, this is what I have here and here and here. And in like Exodus, for example, it's kind of been more loose on, on that. So as I can see, I have, well, most of my money on Ethereum and I can click it here and shows all the tokens that I currently have Ethereum. Let's hope that ZZ actually picks up a bit more on the value I'll to get rid of it soon. Uh, then I have the fractionalized token hoodie and it's showing the icons here, which is very nice. And there's also even a bit of a DAP related information here, liquidity pools, uh, what I have here. So that's pretty nice. So I kind of have a bit of information regarding that as well in terms of my liquidities. Um, this probably applies into all the other chains. So here I have USDC on Superfluid. So you can kind of see a bit of your DeFi positions also as well. There is a bundle feature, which basically allows you to add um, Binance account API. Also your Bitcoin address. This is only gonna be for viewing and OKX account support also is being supported. So I think it seems that there are some Chinese uh, people behind the rabbit wallet because Slow Mist is a Chinese company or auditing company and obviously OKX and Binance are kinda Chinese based. 
so something obviously what people might be interested about there's a swapping feature that is being inbuilt here we can actually do a swap here let's see if we can actually change it to ethereum and let's see how this is going so here you can see the pairings here and it's going to be giving us um, different rates on different exchanges you can adjust the slippage here first we're going to be approving and this is what the actual screen looks like and we need to connect here so there are different types of wallets that you are basically adding in and obviously some of them are using uh, wallet connect and this is what we're going to be doing here I'll just give me a second I'm going to be okay so after reconnecting with my trust wallet I was able to basically get this thing started and here we can see that we can adjust the gas fees uh, from standard instant and custom that's really good because MetaMask actually takes a bit of a time to basically load that stuff and then I will have a pop-up here on my trust wallet on my phone and I'm gonna be doing my pin here and basically now the signature has been done and we're gonna be doing the approval action so obviously based on what you're gonna be connecting here is gonna be having uh, impact on how the interactions are gonna go now based on some people I've talked to before um, using desktop based things which are on your computer are a lot more secure than extension from the basis that the extensions are kind of like all the time connected to internet and I guess they're like more trackable or something like that that's what I've understood and now we can actually do the swap transaction here here we go once again it's gonna be loading up and we're gonna be seeing the receiving tokens the slippage everything else I like that there's a lot of information here and once again we're doing the sign up here on my phone I'm proving it doing my pin and there we go so that's that's basically how it's done and at some point the transactions are going to be happening and I can view it on Etherscan sadly it doesn't open up here on the browser well you can actually do that we're going to be showing you that in a second so that's basically how you can do swaps and there seems to be like a yellow button here so you're going to see the actual thing going on and pending and after it's confirmed it will show us there's the approval there's the transfer okay and then obviously if you want to add more wallets you have the ability to obviously add your one key your treasure and ledger I'm gonna leave the affiliate links down below in case you want to buy one of those wallets so if you want to support my work you can do that by buying them here on the description you can also add your metamask token pocket I am token math wallet wallet connect Serion wallet bitkeep and rainbow now understand that most wallets that exist even the shitty ones usually have wallet connect which is very good so you can add that here as well so basically any wallet that you have you can use basically through now the rapid desktop interface and metamask I'm, I'm not gonna lie it has been pretty pretty buggy as of late there's been a lot of problems so I've, been, I've not been a bit of fan of like the recent developments with MetaMask. So I'm actually really good that Ravi is around. There's also uh, support for saves. These are multisig wallets, which are not supported by MetaMask, by the way. So this is very convenient. So another very, very good feature. And you can also add addresses here. Also, ENS addresses are being supported. So that's good. Um, then if you want to open a dApp, you can either like search through multiple different dApps you can enter to IPFS, ENS or even a local path which is good so you can run them like uh, domestically or whatever world and here I can just open up a Uniswap here inside so this is working as a browser and I'm already connected here with my trust wallet and I can basically make an exchange um, if, if I want to so let's say we want to buy Optimism and I'm gonna put 3.01 there we go and doing swap confirm swap and we're gonna be doing again okay we need to switch oh I should I have to switch okay I'm not gonna be doing I'm not gonna fuck around with don't trust well at that but that's how it's basically done okay it's not it's not like rocket science the experience is just same as we did the swap earlier with the inbuilt thing that they got something also you might just saw a minute ago there's this button here 
What is this? This might be a qualification for an airdrop. So, yeah, do it. Tweet this out. Yeah, you don't even need to tweet it out, by the way. Then you hit the mint, mint, and this is going to be on Ethereum once again. And we're going to be beginning the signing process again. Approving on my end. I have to do this pin every single time. It's kind of annoying on Trustbot. Now, and there we go. I'm, I'm minting out the, uh, the desktop thing. And that might be a qualification for a DAO token in the future. So that's the one reason you should probably get uh, the Rabbit Wallet as well. Because there's that qualification. Um, we already went through the swap. Um, there's also uh, receive addresses. You can build your well you can show your QR addresses you can also see like all the dApps here so I can open up multiple tabs right I can open up uh, Lido here let's go let's hit the enter okay let's add that in open so I can have multiple tabs here for my dApps I think you can even probably add like multiple Uniswaps and I'm not sure are you able to like have a different account with each one of them, but but there's something like multi minting and things like that can be very convenient as well. So what I'm trying to say here is that there are a lot of benefits with the Rabi wallet. It's kind of convenient, it's kind of clean. It doesn't seem to be eating too much of the computer resources even, so it's kind of convenient on that front as well. And let's kind of lastly talk about the settings. Um, we can change custom RPCs, which is very important. Um, there's a proxy we can add, custom ones. Sucks fine, I have no idea what that is, but you technical people know. And you can uh, enable decentralized applications. This is IPFS, ENS, local dApps. So that's really, really cool. Um, but understand that treasure and one key cannot be affected and can be used properly while you're doing that and and that's a display bug by the way created by my computer it's not and there's a white list address okay so you can't get enabled that but that's pretty much like we have basically covered everything that there is to this wallet there's also this chart thing here i wish there was a bit more customization regarding that and also like maybe we could change the color into white mode and things like that but I think it's all right and I don't much have else to add here this is still I understanding like a beta product so there might be more features coming in, in the future so let's see how that basically works out but oh yeah there's also a transactions tab and this is actually also very convenient so I can actually now see what the hell I'm doing here am I receiving money what I'm receiving what is this token where have I traded minted a lot of transactions and knowing like what is going on because Sometimes browsing the other scan is not the most convenient thing ever and understanding like what is exactly going on. And there's also gas fees recorded here. So that's very convenient. So a lot of like important useful data here, which many people can use. But thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more reviews on the channel and I will be seeing you next time. Cheers.